Hi everybody. Um, I'm doing a flip through of my current year's uh, coloring sheets. Um, this is the first one. Uh, this poem on here I wrote. It says, Our Church Family Quilt, a, r a Warm Treasure from Heaven. Our church family is like a patchwork quilt, begun some 50 years ago and designed with love. It is a godly pattern, rich in memories, sewn by the Creator above. Patiently weaving the fabric of our lives, He stitches us together with golden threads that endure, while challenges have added strength to make our inheritance secure. God pierced hearts together into blocks, surrounded by His grace and care, and tied it through the batting of His comfort into a cozy coverlet we share. He embroidered glimmering threads across the top and sewed on elegant lace, binding us into one, one family, composed of created people, made beautiful by His Son. Yes, a patchwork of people related by faith, women, children, and men. Warm treasure from heaven, this family quilt, a legacy from him. And I put it on this coloring sheet. And this um, coloring sheet was from the um, September of 2023. Uh, I'm sorry for the glare. Um, here is where I started. I wanted to teach myself how to use stencils and templates to create coloring sheets. And here is where I started uh, doodling with them. Um, these, there's two here, the star and this cloudy looking one, um, came from Kiwi Lane and I used them quite a bit. Um, and these came from Kiwi Lane. In fact, I had a shorts video um, that shows how I created this one. And um, I'll link it down. They have a channel here on YouTube, and I'll link them down in the uh, description for you. If you see anything you like, go check them out. Uh, this is another Kiwi Lane, um, this star looking one is another Kiwi Lane uh, template. Uh, the flowers and the squares are another um, uh, stencil. And then I just put ruler, I used a ruler to make the stripes for the coloring sheet. Now mind you, I don't make these just for children. I make these for the whole congregation uh, at church. Uh, my pastor will send me uh, the scripture he's going to preach from and um, then I create the coloring sheet uh, to go with his sermon. And then we're supposed to take them home, adults and children alike, take them home, we can color them or we not. not and then uh, use it to um, to meditate on during the week. Uh, this one, this is a Kiwi Lane, this is a Kiwi Lane, and that's a Kiwi Lane. Um, and then I believe this out around the outside is a Kiwi Lane um, um, template too. This was kind of a long um, scripture that I chose out of the chapter that my past, Pastor Eric sent me. And uh, I got to this end right here. Maybe I should have written smaller, I don't know, but I went ahead and added it in. The end of it up this way. So if you kind of wonder why that's up that way, it's because I ran out of room. Sometimes that happens.
Uh, the star is Kiwi Lane. This border is Kiwi Lane. And this star is also Kiwi Lane. Uh, when, you, when you trace around a template or trace into a stencil, it's blank. And I had to teach myself what to look for to fill in the blanks. So I've, some people call them mark making, some people call it doodling, so I did doodle all these dots. And then I did, um, and then in here, I taught myself to um, write part of the scripture. Wash me whiter than snow. And um, everything I've learned, I've learned from different uh, classes, free classes that I've taken. Um, this arrow is Kiwi Lane, and this little here is uh, shape is Kiwi Lane. All of these templates here are Kiwi Lane. And then I filled in the blanks by pointillism. Just dot, 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 you know. Stripes here, checks here, and dots in the middle. Uh, uh, most of these are Kiwi Lane. And I had fun making this one. This one is uh, Kiwi Lane, um, and that's Kiwi Lane. The rest of it, I, and then this heel up here is Kiwi Lane. And um, the rest of it I just kind of doodled in. Um, what I like about the Christmas tree is I added a little bit of um, the cross in it, in the center. Uh, I didn't have too many templates at this point, so this one was a, a tough one. I tried to make a window, mm, excuse me, and then um, make a branch, Christmas tree branch here. Um, sometimes, you know, I've taken some... Uh, lettering classes and this one came didn't come out quite like I wanted <laughs> oh well those things happen I went with it anyway um, this is Kiwi Lane and then the background uh, wreath here is also Kiwi Lane and then I just filled it in with doodles of uh, tree Christmas tree branches this is Kiwi Lane and these are Kiwi Lane Um, this is Kiwi Lane, except for this stencil here. That, I think, I believe came from the Dollar Tree. And if Dollar Tree has any new ones, I grab them. <laughs> this is also Kiwi Lane, except it wasn't a glove. It was, it's something, I think it's from a set called Wacky. And I was looking for a something to use for praying hands and this looked kind of like praying hands to me so I um, used it as gloves and then this is a basket from Kiwi Lane I think it's the set called Orchard and I made it as the ribbing you know like this around the gloves this is also Kiwi Lane and this is Kiwi Lane and the leaves are Kiwi Kiwi Lane, but this is my own doodle. Uh, these flowers are all from Kiwi Lane. And then um, my girlfriend was telling me about a pencil, an ink tense pencil that dries, you draw it on, and then you wet it with a water brush and then uh, to make it look like shadows and then um, it dries permanent and I was kind of afraid to use a watercolor um, pencil because 
to make the shadows because I was afraid that, you know, between getting it photocopied, you know, accidents happened. So I was afraid that if um, I used a watercolor pencil, it would reactivate if a drip uh, from a glass or whatever got on it and then it would be ruined. So I was looking for something permanent and then when my girlfriend Julie told me about it, I um, went and got me one. And I really like these pictures. Uh, I'm not really good at making shadows yet. I think they, my shadows look dorky, but I try to remember um, where the shadows might be on something, like under, on the clouds, underneath the clouds, you know. Um, I really need to take a class on how to make shadows. <laughs> This one was a bomb. Um, this is a Kiwi Lane, and then the stencil is another. Uh, it's a stencil for the pattern. But I wanted to try to make um, lettering with a crayon. It didn't work. But I used it anyway. I hope it blessed somebody. <laughs> and then all of these are Kiwi Lane. And I used one of their photo mats in this place to put my the scripture at. Now these I had fun doing. Trying to make them look like a puzzle, sort of. And then I was trying to figure out how to put uh, the words on. I, I could have done like this here page and used a, a block or something but I decided to kind of weave it in so it says walk in the way of love Ephesians 5 2 and um, everybody at church seemed to really like these and then they liked this one too because I took some Kiwi Lane template gifts and uh, created the, the patterns inside the, the gift wrapping paper. This was a ruler and these all the rest of these are all stencils except for that was my doodle. Um, and this was a doodle and I think this was a doodle. That was a ruler. But the rest of these are all different stencils. And then the bows were, I filled them in and, and made different patterns on and they were kind of my doodles. Um, this one was done right before um, St. Patrick's Day and I had difficulty coming up with an idea for it. This is Kiwi Lane and this chevron pattern is Kiwi Lane and then a heart and this here was um, Kiwi Lane, and then this was a stencil that I found somewhere. Um, then the, this all came, this was, I saw a Mary Inglebright um, pattern where she had used a bunch of squares and put little designs inside. And that gave me this idea. And I had this stencil from, uh, I, this is a scrapbooking stencil that I picked up at a thrift store somewhere. And that's another place I always go is check out the thrift stores when I go to see if there's any stencils that I can use. And I found this one at a um, thrift store. And then I put little Kiwi Lane stencil um, um, templates on here too and drew around them. And this kind of reminded me of um, of uh, Mary Inglebright. Um, these are all, except for that one, these are all um, Kiwi Lane patterns. And then this little wit here is um, Kiwi, Kiwi Lane um, border. And then this is a, a ruler. And I had this uh, as an old... Um, I think it's deja vu uh, stencil to make the egg. It was an oval. 
and uh, put the scripture in there. And then uh, this is a ruler too. And then I had a stencil for a, a birdhouse as well. Okay, this is a, this pattern, outside pattern, is a Diane Revely pattern. I bought it on eBay. Because this still kind of reminded me of Mary Inglebright and what she did with her all her little patterns. And so, uh, some of these stencils came from the Dollar Tree. Some came from Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something. Or I think that one came from a thrift store. So, and then these, the rest of these are all Kiwi Lane templates. And then I put the scripture in one block. And then I, the next week, I flipped the outside stencil. And uh, then this, did this when we were studying about the Lord's Prayer. And um, I put different stencils here and um, Kiwi Lane stencil, um, templates. Again, I flipped it upside down this time. And uh, put in different stencils and templates and backgrounds. And again, this way. Um, I had some Bible art journaling um, stencils and then these little uh, people came from stencil girl uh, I um, this outside stencil I flipped it over this way and then I flipped it this way and flipped back and all the different ways to get all the different uh, and then I also looked for different patterns to put in the in this. Um, this outside stencil here is Kiwi Lane, and then the little people are um, Stencil Girl, Valerie, Valerie Sojean's uh, little people, and then the other inside patterns and the outside patterns are all um, various other stencils. Okay, this one this one is Kiwi Lane, but the girl and this cherries are by Diane Revely. Um, all of these except this one is Kiwi Lane and I believe this one. Um, and maybe, I'm not sure, maybe these two. But the rest of them are um, Kiwi Lane templates. Uh, I'm the secretary for um, our brush reunion every year. So uh, I design the invitation or reminder and send it out. Um, and then um, this is Kiwi Lane. The arrow is Kiwi Lane. Uh, I also used the Kiwi Lane border to make the lines. And then uh, I doodled in the little V shapes. And then this is a Diane Revely. But it doesn't usually come with a hat. And um, I found a stencil that had a cowboy hat that I thought would fit. And yep, it did. And I made this pattern with a, a stencil. It's, um, I don't remember the brand name, but um, I saw an idea um, about stained glass, and you know, stained glass lets the light sh shine through, and uh, especially the sunlight shine through, only in this case it's the S-O-N light. <laughs> um, then I saw a video on how to make this and I used the Kiwi Lane border template to make the curves because I don't have Diane Revely's really, so, uh, acrylic mount for stamps so um, I used the Kiwi Lane border to make this and then I just doodled in the patterns 
except for I think I put used a stencil for this and I think I used a stencil for this pattern but the rest of them I think I did on, on my own and then they were using this as if cutting it up in one inch strips to make a frame for their um, uh, pictures and like I said um, I made the coloring sheet so I made uh, this and made it into a word search and this is the scripture reference up here and then I just added the words to this to make a word search and I got um, a positive result on that one too something different this one I used um, scrapbooking paper in black and white except for down here I used a stencil and these are stencils and this is a stencil but the rest of it's paper that I glued down and this is a puzzle template that I found on eBay and uh, it's not exactly um, if you cut it out and put it together it wouldn't exactly match because um, I really don't know how to do that yet so to match puzzle pieces but I got a good response on that one too um, and then all of these are uh, QE Lane templates and if I put a border in uh, it's usually a ruler and I saw this on uh, on YouTube um, this technique in a children's um, video and uh, I decided to try it I don't know if I like it or not but it's different and then here's another one of those and this is a Kiwi Lane and then I just doodled in the and then put the scripture up there um, these two people this was the cowboy and this is the uh, girl that it had before and I just gave him different clothes and left the, the cowboy hat off him um, and then I had a stencil to make a brick pattern and I wanted to put the scripture down the middle um, so I took a white pen and um, to make it look like uh, oh, what's that stuff called um, I can't remember anyway to lighten it up to put the scripture down the middle and then I just they're banked by flowers here. And this is, um, I did this for the Rush reunion also. Um, did the same kind of deal. Only I found 97 um, ancestor first names and put them in this word search for people to do. Uh, a lot of people really liked it. Um, except they wanted a cheat sheet. I didn't give them that. Um, then I saw an idea for um, using a stencil on the background, so I added it in, made this. I enjoyed it. I think I may do this one again. Um, I was thinking of a large, larger church, but Kiwi Lane didn't have a larger church, and I don't have a stencil that's larger, that's of a church. But the scripture fit just perfect inside of it and, it. and it says, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. And it fit bus just perfect in there. And, and then I'm thinking, okay, what's, what's a good background? So I put her in a flower garden. Um, I need to get some pictures of butterflies because I'm not real thrilled with the doodling I did in the butterfly but some people liked it and then I like this little flower garden I put everything in and this out back here in the backgrounds another Kiwi Lane border and then I really like this one um, 
this is Kiwi Lane. Um, but this uh, heart is a Fisker's heart. Um, I had picked up back when I was doing a lot of stamping and stuff. I picked up this Fisker's heart. In. It's not a nesting template. But it does have various sizes that go smaller. Um, but anyway, this is all Kiwi Lane. And then I really like this one. This is Border 2 um, from Kiwi Lane and a Kiwi Lane tree, but the top of the tree is uh, not Kiwi Lane, it's uh, Diane Revelys. And um, this is a Kiwi Lane template, and then this is a T Kiwi Lane template. And I really like this, and I loved, liked how I put uh, a main word into the um, border. I like this one too. Um, it's most of these are Kiwi Lane. The t mushrooms are Kiwi Lane, um, and the leaves are Kiwi Lane. These two flowers, however, is a stencil. Uh, and then I just wrote. Sometimes, sometimes I can come up with a um, scripture. Um, and then design around it sometimes uh, to match the scripture like I did with this girl here and but sometimes there's not I don't have any stencils or I don't have any templates that will match and so um, you got to get creative and create your own thing around here um, and then this one this one was, was another one um, that was hard uh, and I was trying to think of, I wanted a girl that, you know, or uh, somebody that was holding their hands up in a joyous expression, but uh, I didn't have that, so I got creative and put some balloons, you know, because usually have balloons at celebrations, and so I wanted this to be um, kind of a cele ce celebratory um, type feeling. And then this is also Kiwi Lane. And I picked this temp um, this stencil up at a thrift store. And the rest of this is Kiwi Lane. Um, and then uh, I found this uh, arch thing um, at Hobby Lobby. It was some other craft. But I looked at it and I go, ah, that'd be perfect arch. And I'm been looking at, um, I'm not sure how you say it, it's H-Y-G-G-E, it's a Swedish word for uh, a type of art, and so I've been looking at that, and that's kind of a take on that. Um, and then this is the Kiwi Lane's nesting circles. And I decided to make a kind of a doily uh, appearance and then write the, it starts here. We always thank God for all of you mentioning you in our prayers. First uh, Thessalonians 1, 2, and then a heart and my initials and the date. I really like this one too. Uh, this is another Kiwi Lane circle. Um, the leaves are Kiwi Lane. The, the uh, pumpkin and the leaves here are all Kiwi Lane. But I really like that picture. And then I started taking um, uh, some free classes from, or free ideas from an art therapist. I forget her name. Anyway, it just started those and uh, she suggested making when you're not feeling uh, especially creative to just add brush strokes to a page in a grid pattern so that's what this background is. and then she suggested doing these stripes um, I'll see if I can find her name and put it down in the description and then here's the um, and then I ran out of room so I added it down here um, I hope it looks all right. And then this is her idea too, and I really liked it. And so um, that's 
coming up to 2014 here I'll be doing some more for um, December and um, then we'll continue on into the next year I'll see you all later bye bye